the ladies singles semi-final the young one of Korea up against the unseeded upon a puppet of India the players just changing ends after the opening game of this ladies single semi-final the number one seed the Hyung Wong of Korea a 16 year old from Hyun Book there she is incredible that one so young is the number one seed in the tournament and her opponent Apana Popat of India the opening game to the number one seed, 11-4 really is important now for Popat to get a good start to this second game and that's perfect beautiful accuracy at the net tumbling the shuttlecock into the tape and getting the serve back it really is important now she gets her score moving along and puts some pressure on the young Korean girl oh, nice deception on the slice by the Korean and Apana really must, I think, inject a little bit more pace at times. I think so. It's not that she hasn't got the ability or physical attributes to do that. She has got pace. We saw her producing that yesterday in beating the number three, four seed. And she really must do that now. She really must start getting to that shuttlecock a bit earlier, finding some angles. And there, just an error on the net. She's there early. Not that she's taking it late, but the racket head's going down immediately after contact with the shuttlecock, and that's why they're going into the net. That's wide. And this relaxed, easy style by the Indian. Why is it that a country can produce player after player that look so similar in their style. Is it because they, they look at a very successful player such as Prakash and all want to copy his style or is it the coaching system? I think it's probably a combination of the two. The coaching system of course is going to influence the players and the way that they're taught and how they hold the racket etc and move. However I think you really can't substitute the impressions that a good role model can have on players coming through. I think a great example of that in Denmark even is Peter Gader's style very reminiscent of the Morton Frost, the patience and then the explosiveness to occasionally win the point. Three, one. Yes, that's interesting because, I mean, it really is becoming the case that we could watch players on court and almost tell by their styles which country they've come from. Well, how on earth Lee retrieved the first shot? I'm not quite sure. It must put this young lady under enormous pressure. She's got to feel that she's got to play the outright winners. That one's wide. Fortunate error there from Popat. She played a beautiful rally up to then, controlling the net area, making Lee work very hard. It's always so frustrating to see a player play an unforced error like that at the end of such a well-worked rally. 1-4. What a shot! Used every available millimetre of the court, that cross-court drop. Lee pushed the high serve up wide after the round-the-head corner of Popper. She played a cross court, drop shot, across the court, Five, smack onto the line. Five. Beautiful accuracy. So now a very comfortable lead for the Indian. 5-1. And she really just moves the shuttle around the court with such grace. It really is a delight to watch really is testament to the racket skills that she possesses. We saw the round the head drop on the previous point and there we saw some beautiful cross court touches and we've seen some on the backhand side of the net as well.
desperation, I think, leaving that one. I think she wanted that one to be out so much to go to 7-1, but it was well inside the line. Just wide. Error there on the backhand. Lee trying to step in and take that one early, but just pulling it into the net. Well, she may not be very tall, but my goodness, she can generate some power with that smash. That really was a very powerful smash. She's got strong legs. She gets behind the shuttlecock and drives upwards and through the shuttlecock. And she really does have great arm technique and gets that racket head moving very fast to generate the shuttlecock speed. Suspect overhead technique. We she played a good one in the first game, but there Popat really did move her under pressure onto that backhand. And it was a loose backhand drop which Popat no, made no mistake in stepping in and burying the reply. Just wide. And I think on that occasion, Papana Poppet really didn't get behind the shuttle. So the unseeded Indian player in front in this second game, the number one seed from Korea, the Hong Won, having taken the first game 11 4. That was a lovely cross court block there from Lee. It really caught Popa out. She was already moving in towards the forehand net corner, but Lee just turned the yeah. angle of the racket face and drew it cross court. Popat took it late and put it into the net. What a rally! Brilliant play and total commitment from both girls. Absolutely, and it ended with Lee again sliding across the floor in an attempt to get the beautifully angled cross-court drop shot from Popat. And I will be surprised if Lee doesn't get the court wiped because there is a, I can see a mark of perspiration from here and indeed she gestures to the umpire that she would like the perspiration removed from the court. We were mentioning earlier about the size of the men's singles draw, but also this ladies' singles, 145 entries into the event. And when you consider that just two years ago there was only 74 entries, it really is an indication of the increase in the strength in depth of women's badminton throughout the world. Mistake there from Lee. Bit indecisive about the length of the serve from Popat. Thought she was going to leave it and tried to punch clear her way out of trouble. Pushed it into the tram line. Oh, that's lovely. Apana Poppet calmly taking control. 9-3. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Lee took the shuttle so early at the net. A little sway of the body indicated that perhaps she was going to flick the shuttle deep into the corner. 
but played the delicate net shot. Terrific deception. Just long. Again, the deception of Lee in the middle of that rally. She had pop out on her heels. This time it was an overhead. She faked to play a clear, played the drop. Lovely play in there. Oh, she should have played with a shorter swing there. She really did try and hit that with a long swing of the racket, by which time the shuttlecock would drop below the level of the net. Bad error there from Lee. Yes, yeah, just perhaps the inexperience showing. <laughs> that shows great character. Oh, they're making that real blunder at the net. Has the courage to hit the outright winner in the next rally. Five, nine. And now that she's down in this second game, it's almost as if the Korean has tried to up the pace, playing with sheer guts and determination. But a misjudgment on that one. Wow. Well, from where, where we are, that looked as if perhaps it could have been long of the baseline, but the linesman called it good. Terrific. Apana Popat moving her her opponent forward and back and slicing it cross court. Well, Lee had set herself up with a really marvellous punch clear straight down the line. She knew that the reply had to come to the net. She couldn't deal with it. It's now game point. And that's long. It's all level. Apana Poppet takes the second game. 11-5. And the girls will go for a five minute interval and talk to their coaches. One game all in this ladies single semi-final. <laughs> Number one seed, Lee Chong Wong of Korea up against the Indian Apana Popat. It was the Korean that took the opening game 11-4 with this young lady from India leveled it up 11-5 in the second and she really did play some exquisite level. shots to level the match third game and immediately it's Apana Poppet who carries on where she left off at the end of that second. Really totally outmaneuvering her opponent, playing from one corner then to another, always switching it. Superbly worked rally there from Poppet. She really did outmaneuver Lee and got the weak reply. Made no mistake when she had the loose kill at the net. Just caught the top of the table, stayed on the Indian side of the net. Well, obviously this young lady carrying the hopes of Korea, the number one seed. She is just 16 years of age. And perhaps she's feeling the pressure of that number one seeded position. Lady, of course, unseeded. 
very interesting foe that in the semi-final stage four different nations represented it really is great for the developing ladies game we had of course Lee of Korea pop up of India we've got Peng of Chinese Taipei and Yuhua of China so that really is looking good towards the future because at the moment the senior ladies are really being dominated by exclusively the Chinese as well as the Indonesian ladies as well yes and interesting that in fact in the quarterfinals there was only one Indonesian player remained in this latest singles event and so perhaps the domination from a few years ago when Susie Susanti of course dominated the world of ladies singles perhaps the power beginning to shift and to spread out amongst more nations that is superb sheer class Beautiful length serve there from Popper. Really gave that a great height. And it landed just inside the line. Very difficult to hit. That would have been vertically falling onto Lee's racket. Thought it was long, but it was in. Just trying to pull away from that lift before she finished the stroke. Played it into the net. Now we're going to see who she's made of. And from Korea, Yong Yong Yu, Bang Yong Yu. That one's in as well, and I think, to be honest, Anthony, you made such a good point earlier on when you said that Lee, perhaps because of her height and perhaps because of also of her style of play, tends to really just chase the shuttle more. She's not commanding the rallies and therefore doesn't have really the weaponry to finish off the point, whereas her opponent seems to be hitting winners from all angles. That's absolutely true. And we've got to remember as well, you mentioned how large the draw was. 145 of them in this lady singles draw. And if you, your game plan is to actually cover the court so energetically as Lee does, it's going to take its toll on a tournament that lasts almost a week. look up there towards the Korean coach hoping for a piece of inspiration there's nothing the coach can do about it now it's down to the players That's wide. Beautifully constructed rally again. We've spoken so often about Poppet's tactical play at movingly around the court and then just finding the angles to draw the error. That's cool, good. The Kyung Won does not like the call. Hands on hips. I think that just caught the outside edge of the line, which of course in badminton, any part of the shuttlecock making contact with the line, it's in. Well, the players change ends for the final time. The unseeded Aparna Popat of India. 6-2 up in this deciding game. Six, two, three. Seven, two. And now seven, two, and really looking very good and very confident. Not only confident, she really has gone into a style of play that really does look impressive. She's soaking up all the pressure from Lee, just upping the pace. That's superb from Lee. Really was quick feet there. Got in, took it early, paid it down into the space. 
I think it's vitally important now that Poppet doesn't give away any simple quick points. Lee's looking quite forlorn at the moment, quite dejected. And what she doesn't need is easy points. And that's a beautiful response there from Poppet, smashing the shuttlecock down the line. a little bit over eager to finish the point there Lee it was a short lift from Popper she really did give everything into it really threw the arm at the shuttlecock just tried to get it down too steep to really hit the floor but it just drew the mistake by going into the net so now 8-2 up in the final set Fantastic lift there from Lee. Tumbling net shot from Popat. Lee gave that beautiful swing of the racket, played it up into the air, and landed just inside the join of the lines at the back and side of the court. That really is such a lovely shot. The ease with which she plays it. One can really see the frustration in Lee's play. She really doesn't know what to try next. Popat just soaking up everything that Lee can throw at her at the moment. The rare error there from Popat. Just trying to force the pace there, trying to punch clear it. I think maybe caught in two minds between a drop shot and a clear. now really almost impossible situation for Lee to recover from 2-9 down in this deciding game but we've seen other players come back from desperate positions and I'm really convinced that this young lady is such a good fighter that she certainly won't give up With net play like that, Lee must be really wondering what on earth she has to do. This young lady from India, really perhaps the find of the tournament. Obviously to come through from an unseeded position and now to be on the brink of a final of this stature, she really is a find. Oh, that's lovely. The crowd appreciated that. They appreciated the skill. And now, the unseeded Indian on the verge of the World Championship final. And that's it. She's done it. Fantastic play there from Pana Popper. She's got one better than the semi-finalist in the Asian Junior Championship. She's now through to the final of the World Junior Championships. And what a remarkable player she looks. She covers the court. She's got patience. She's got that explosive capacity in those legs. And she finds some beautiful angles. So the unseeded Pana Popper through to the final where she'll meet Yu Hua of China through against the number one seed Lee Kwon Won 11 4 11 5 11 11 3